Scorpios, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Hierophant. These cards right here are very much so all about how you Scorpios are. This is going to be an interesting reading. So you Scorpios are very much so uh, very optimistic, very happy, very peaceful. Uh, that doesn't necessarily always come around to you Scorpios a lot, peacefulness. Um, but yet you are, right? Page of Pentacles, yet you are very peaceful. Very, you know, very much so enjoying your time, being alive and getting a chance to actually have the ability to do whatever it is that you want, right? And do you, the Five of Swords and the Hierophant. A lot of you Scorpios are thinking about why in the first place is it that you allow people to get you upset, get you, you know, get you upset, get you on your nerves in the first place. A lot of you Scorpios are like, you definitely got to work on not allowing others to get you on your nerves or circumstances to get you on your nerves. You know what I mean? And then the next thing you know, you start feeling like, again, there's a volcano inside of you. Um, you know, the higher friend represents there's a need for you, Scorpios, and you, Scorpios, recognize this even within your own self that you know, you need to start taking things a little bit more easy, you know what I mean? Relaxing, enjoying yourself, enjoying the life that you have a little bit more. The Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles is about, and, and also, you know, allowing people to come to you. The Six of Cups, however, represents someone is coming to you that you used to get to know. Like I said, that person is still on you. You've got yourself a full-blown stalker, still trying to see what's going on with you, still trying to be all up in your business. But in general, I see a lot of you Scorpios are learning that if you put yourself out there towards somebody and they don't show you any kind of, um, they don't show you anything back, then it's probably nine chances out of 10 or 90% chance that they don't, they don't really like you as far as they're not choosing you. And you Scorpios are learning that, you know what, that's okay. But however, you still have this person that's still stalking you, though, that's still trying to see what's going on. And they're trying to come back and be like, you know, they're ready to take notes. But you, Scorpios, just have this mentality, this brand new mindset in general of, hey, you're not going to try to force it. You're not going to try to convince somebody that, you know, you're the best person for them. If you put yourself out there and they don't put themselves out there like that to you, a lot of you Scorpios are just going to be like, okay, it is what it is. Then you have the judgment, right? Which is you Scorpios remembering they didn't want to have you around. You were inferior to them. You were trash to them. They, they, were make, they were making it so difficult on you to be with them. Now, all of a sudden, they're ready to take notes, right? They got their journal out. Or they got their book out. And they, and they pen and pen or pencil trying to, trying to take notes as to what it is that you have to say that you want. And now actually deciding to give it to you because you're their best option now. They found, like I said, they found out that maybe you Scorpios were rich or you know, y'all were in line for an inheritance or something that social media tells people that they should sell their souls for, right? Maybe they find, you know, maybe they heard through the grapevine or whatever that, you know, you, you good when it comes to the sack. So now they're like, oh, I want to have this experience with the Scorpios. You know, maybe you Scorpios can ball out on me. The star card, however, represents you. Come on now, you Scorpios already got game. Y'all already know why it is that this person is even here in the first place. You Scorpios know, oh, they're here. They don't really like you like that. They don't like anybody like that. They just use everybody in their life, even when they say that they like them. So a lot of you Scorpios are like, you can't trust these individuals. You can't. So you know that you know, even when they try to reach out to you, you Scorpios may or may not say something. Now, I don't suggest you even say anything, but you Scorpios may or may not say something, but you also have it in the back of your mind. Like this person, this person has no respect for anybody. This person 
tries to make it seem like if the person was making a certain amount of money, it's like, no, because they still do this to people that they swore out that they were so fly or whatever or whatever. No matter what they say, you're either respectful or you're not. If you're not respectful, it doesn't matter about how much money a person has. They're not going to be respectful no matter what. So then the Knight of Swords, yeah, the Knight of Swords is about you see these people's obstacles, how much problems that they have. And they're coming to you with it like, come on now, Scorpio. You sure you don't want to hang out with me? And you Scorpios are like, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm good. No, thank you. The Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is about you, you Scorpios realize that you've been doing yourself a disservice over the years of you looking at people just for face value because they were highly attractive or because this or whatever. Or meanwhile, on the low, when you pay attention to it, when you pay attention to the details, you realize they're trash. They wasn't who you thought they were. So the six, so the page of swords is about, again, you have a sword on you, blade side instead of the hilt, right? So this is about, so this is about you understanding of you've been doing yourself a disservice all these many years, and it's time for you to stop working against yourself in ways that where you look at a person, accept them in your life, but then they take time to mess you over. And then now you as Scorpios are sitting up there like, why is it that you do? Why is it that you did this in the first place? Why did you do this? I actually cared about you. What are you doing? The Six of Pentacles represents, again, you Scorpios understand what time it is. The Six of Pentacles is about you, you Scorpios understanding, yes, that it's time for you to actually start taking care of yourself. It's not a problem to spend a little couple of dollars when it comes to going out on a date, but it can't drain your pockets dry. It can't, it can't be a person trying to obviously, right, gank you. Obviously, like, they want you to spend $500 on a person that you don't even know to gamble, to, to roll the dice on whether or not they are gonna actually have a second date with you or whether or not they're even gonna be physically romantic with you. A lot of you Scorpios are waking up and realizing that it's not worth it. That a person has to, as soon as they touch down, they have to be open-minded to give you a chance. If not, it's a dub for you. You don't want them. And these people didn't give you a chance. Now they're dealing with it. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. You have the Emperor. The uh, Five of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. And then you have the Chariot. So these two cards, these four cards, excuse me, represents your, the Emperor and the Five of Pentacles. You're finally taking your own power back. Because that's what Scorpio represents, disempowerment. And then realizing that you're disempowered, feeling that you're disempowered, and not denying that you're disempowered, and then figuring a way out, like, why do you, why are you disempowered? And then learning from said mistakes, and then never going back to being disempowered again. So the emperor is you, Scorpios, and the five of pentacles is them. Them now wanting to be in a relationship with you, they should have thought about it, but they lack such foresight. They lack such future planning. They wanted to play games with you. That was their intention. And now all of a sudden it's backfiring. You Scorpios are still looking for brand new people, trying to get to know brand new people. Your dating life, Scorpios, has not stopped. It's not to say that I'm giving you the same readings over and over and over again. No. Your dating life is still very much so moving forward. You're still dating new people, trying to get to know those people to see if those, if you and those new people are actually tight and compatible. It's just that this person is going in a loop, trying to get you back, trying to figure out a way to, to give you, you know, to tell you something that's magical that I have you Scorpios go, for real? 
Let's be together. <laughs> the two of swords and the chariot represents they're going to continue to try to see if they can get you back. But the chariot, remember how it is that they were wasting your time. You, Scorpios, you continue to move forward and get to know other people. These people are lost in the sauce. That's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.